Hey folks, Captain Dave here in the Wolf Den. I actually had some interest in these sinkers from one of the videos that I did previous to this one just a few days ago when I was literally just out checking and messing around with my GoPro Hero Sessions camera. Um, I had some interest in the egg sinkers that I talked about and in that I discussed how I really don't like egg sinkers coming down to a swivel then to a leader then to a hook and it just seems to be a lot of trouble when it comes to re-rigging because of the stuff that we burn around here you burn tackle like cordwood but here's the various types of little just sinkers you can use with a leader coming off of them many times I really like this versus a jig head I can control the size of the hook I can have a, this coming off with a short leader with a hook and I can use it for horn hooking a shrimp putting anything on it and letting it lay instead of a jig head which in all reality you kind of have to be moving it along I just really like this presentation I always have I've really just now uh, come up with the supply chain of where to get these Naturally, you can get these little, what I would call little trout leads, almost anywhere at any tackle shop. If you want to use this shape. Uh, this one here is a quarter ounce. Quarter ounce. This is a quarter ounce. This is a three eighths. This is a half. This is a one. This is a two. This is a three. These here I get on eBay. And you can get these sizes on eBay also but they're gonna be the lead melted around a swivel type I don't necessarily like that for more heavy-duty type applications I like these for more heavy-duty applications with bigger fish I just find this possibly a weakness years ago I was using one of these and it you know at the jetties or whatever and it got bent and literally this just broke right off so uh, these have a weakness these right here have a weakness just because all it is is the swivel stuck into the lead these have a weakness too and the manufacturer uses steel eyes on here and they rust instantaneously they, as soon as they hit salt water but as I said in the video I will burn these up most likely before that steel ever breaks and I doubt a fish will ever break it really it gets a nice coat of rust on it these I actually found on eBay at one time but then that they're not selling them anymore so I went straight to Walmart and Walmart sells them in packages of various sizes I, I think three is about the biggest you can buy okay there's a three ouncer it says three two one and uh, this is the kind of packaging you're going to look for. Hurricane saltwater tackle. I definitely bash the crap out of them on Walmart reviews for this product. Meaning that if it's hurricane saltwater tackle, why are they using this cheap Chinese steel? But that's sort of here nor there because if you're fishing these hard, you're just going to lose them. You're going to break them off in structure. But that's the packet. That's one ounce and a 16 to a quantity. All right. So the saltwater tackle thing, so hurricane saltwater tackle, is kind of like a um, kind of a real farce. You know, I got all different sizes for all different applications. Uh, this one, I use it just like I use these. You can sort of get these anywhere. Uh, you just can't get them very big. Well, you can. I mean, you can find that particular swivel made by this particular guy on eBay. But he again puts the swivels into the lead. I'm real particular when it comes to certain things. And I just know that when you're out at the jetties and things like that and you're hooking a big fish or whatever. Or you're in that type of structure that this here just with an eye with a swivel on it. Which these sinkers are kind of very hard to find. You're never going to find them just anywhere in Jacksonville that's for sure. These will be for a stronger more HD heavy duty application of course. And these will be for super light tackle stuff. There you go. That's just an egg sinker with swivels on it or a little miniature trout lead. Then you can get these up to two, three ounces also by the same guy or one ounce. 
Okay, I'll put the links in the video description. Does everybody know what the video description is? Obviously not, because I get people asking questions that I just answered in the video description. Below this video, there will be show more. What you do is you click on that and it opens up the video description. There's where links are and that's where information about the video is contained. It's all over YouTube. People always point down. Check the video description. So if you want to learn more about where to get these links to get these, if you're interested in doing what I'm doing, using a leader, not always just a just a jig head and burning jig heads left and right. Sometimes I just as soon break a, a leader and have a hook come off than just burn jig heads like matchsticks that we do out there. It works out for me. I caught just as many fish on these the other day behind the boat when I had uh, two people on the boat and they were throwing into the rocks and burning them like cordwood. I caught just as many fish and all I did was pitch a one ounce behind the boat and let it lay and pick it up every once in a while. Just pick it up and when I picked it up, there he was. I felt flounder, trout, whiting. I caught all kinds of stuff. So this is, uh, this is my little light tackle setup. And like I said, go to the video description below if you want to learn more about it and see the links of where to purchase. So thanks for watching. This has been Captain Dave in the Wolf Den. One more time.